Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, first are some uh, training statistics. Uh, the number of Litecoin wallets which have received the Litecoin increased to uh, 5,838, which increased at about 150 from last week. The total number of transactions on Litecoin chain increased to uh, 5, uh, 8,575. Uh, which uh, merely exceeded uh, total the total number um, merely exceeded sixty thousand. The my uh, the number of migrated uh, Litecoin from ELC twenty uh, exceeded three hundred million. Uh, the number is three hundred and twelve about three hundred and twelve million, which increased uh, 30, 30 million from the previous week. The number of ELC20 addresses still owning Litecoin decreased to 29 from the previous week, which dropped it below, uh, just below 15,600. Uh, 15, the number of dedicated tokens is about 241 million and 25,000, which increased it uh, for 410,000, which is uh, a lot less than the, the increase from uh, the increase in the previous week. Since the migrated token increased a lot, while the uh, dedicated token is, uh, is not that much, the percentage of migrated token dropped up from 85% to about 77%. Last week, I uh, I'm mainly discussing uh, IPFS internals and having some testing with uh, Alu. This week, I will continue IPFS and train related researches, and also will have uh, some solution on uh, the team's key management because currently we are uh, we have someone uh, keeping uh, keeping some or all of the private key. Uh, we need some uh, redundancy and backup uh, solution for that. Hi, this is Michael. Uh, last week, I have deployed new Civic Leica distribution service. The update is a uh, new method to queue and send transactions in Corvette Seven. And I also added Elasticsearch Watcher to alert any stuck transaction. Next, I update our Terran bot to integrate with Duo Switch for post listens. And this is now deployed on production. I think Edmund and Daisy are trying it. We'll wait and see if any problem today. Last, I am working on the new Elasticsearch custom migration. This week, I will translate all the old watch to AWS version alerting. Some because some of the syntax from watch is not supported and need to be rewritten now. That's all. Uh, this is William, and last week I was uh, fixing some Leica land app quest uh, caused by the uh, newly added product, and I will continue monitoring if there is any other missing rules causing quest on Android. And I have also fixed up some uh, hidden API that, that may have caused the cookie issue that was investigating last week. And I have communicated with far based support, and they have quickly fixed up the issue on the weekend. So. Uh, now we should not have any more cookie issues, but uh, that will be, have to be observed. Also, I have implemented uh, a credit card billing information changing function on the website of uh, Lightcard.land, and this will allow us to add uh, automated flight, uh, payment failure email notification to our users. And so if a user failed a uh, credit card payment on their uh, subscription renewal, and he will receive, uh, he or she will receive an uh, email that direct ping, uh, the user to the new UI so that uh, they can update the subscription information. Uh, also, I was testing the new release of Offcore, uh, which should be deployed today. And we will have uh, some minor uh, UI and performance improvement. And 
also uh, the register screen will have all of and the function list of the new release uh, can be found in the slide channel so i will not list them out and if there's no issue today and we will deploy all of them uh, like this afternoon also i have discussed some uh, better authentication flow for like a land app with that and I will. I was trying to implement some of the uh, basic uh, changes uh, last week, but went into the funky problem mentioned above. So this way, I will continue the change on the uh, app token of authentication flow. Hello, this is David. And last week, I was mainly focused on the app. And as uh, William said, uh, the cookie issue has been fixed on the app um, but uh, in the last last week I was spent I spent uh, one or two days to uh, look into this issue and then uh, one of our user has re re reported that uh, he or she cannot undergate and the error message uh, shows the uh, not enough to pay transaction fee and turns out the amount checking was uh, invalid and which is checking the available balance instead of the delegated amount uh, since the last code refactoring so uh, this issue has been fixed in 0 0.13.2 uh, and the, this version has been released in android um, but we are get, still getting uh, the approval from apple and we have some difficulties on that and i have also implemented a pull to refresh mechanism in the validator uh, detail screen and also i spent the uh, rest of the time in the last week to finish the redelegation flow uh, but they are still missing some error handling so i will be uh, doing this uh, error handling UI and rest of the uh, cast in stage zero this week. Also, I will spend some time to implement A-B test on the registration flow from civic page of Leica Lab. That's all. Hello, this is Edmund. Um, last week, uh, I mainly uh, I work on the Lunar New Year promotion campaign and um, I think uh, uh, most of the things are ready and uh, 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 I, uh, I keep on lobbying with the bookstores and uh, also um, the, uh, the, print, the, the printing content of, of the uh, promotion material. Um, uh, the campaign will be rolled out today uh, and I will uh, expect a boost on the Civic Leica intake. Uh, with regard as the number of the uh, uh, the statistics, the the, the, the operation data, uh, we observed a, a continuous drop uh, in the in the in the recent four weeks since the Christmas promotion campaign. Um, I. I uh, I think uh, this situation will be changed after we, we have uh, rolled out our promotion campaign. So the, the new number of Civic Liker is 1045, which is the first time we, I, I mean, we, uh, it's the first time we observe that has a, has a drop in total number uh, in the past three months. Um, uh, it's not a very good signal, but I think I think the trend will be changed after after the campaign roll out. And um, for the app download number, iOS is one one four five, and the Android number is ninety eight. Uh, and and for the conversion funnel, there is no uh, uh, particular rise or drop. It, it keeps on the trend. And uh, I'm looking forward to today's ENY case deployment so that we can gather more more uh, data for to an, to analyze the conversion funnel. And um, about the uh, A/B test, I, I I said I would do I I did last week. Uh, the design and the idea is confirmed and is 
I'm waiting for the implementation to, to roll out the A-B test. And I expect it, it, will be, it will be done this week before the Lunar New Year holiday. Um, yes, that's it. Hi. Going research and outreach to. Um, Cindy, Cindy, program. we can't hear you. Please repeat. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, now. Can you start no, yeah. from the beginning? Okay. Um, <clears throat> last week, mainly focused on uh, doing research and outreach to incubation programs and fundings. Uh, <clears throat> Submitted several DApp listing platform requests, uh, but mainly is for platform requests on Cosmos instead of our project. Um, raise um, this issue on Cosmo forums. Hope to drive more um, uh, Cosmo community members' uh, feedback on how we could um, gain more exposure for project like us that is built on uh, Cosmos. Um, also ready to um, submit token listing info to CoinMarketCap. Um, last week, gathered info from our blockchain developer, Chong, um, and we'll review it and submit today with Kin. Um, CoinGecko issue is still fixing with um, BitAsset team. Um, they are looking into the API that submitted to CoinGecko. So, um, it's mainly there. I think there is some problem with their API. That's why um, our listing on CoinGecko is reflected as zero. So their team is currently looking into it. Um, and also continue to set up workflow for email outreach, um, which is not in our database. And for the BA campaign wrap up for December, uh, we bought um, 19 new, new users registration on the exchange um, and also some trading volume um, but that perhaps we can discuss later in the meeting um, on that. That's it. Hello, this is Q. Uh, last week uh, I completed and printed all promotion materials, which is uh, which I worked for about a month or three weeks. And uh, the poster and the printing material is distributing uh, with uh, Emmon in the weekend. And I also make complete a UI for redelegation, which I will try to show the screen here. So, uh, so there's a technical issue that I can't show you here, but now uh, I will show you next time. And I uh, also uh, completed the concept and wild film for Civic Leica and Vita reports in app, which, uh, which come to this week, I will try to arrange a uh, meetings or discuss with the team uh, is uh, any technical issue or uh, any further, uh, yes, we will discuss the concept with the team. And also, I will start to revamp uh, Lakerland slash CFAC, which I plan to start last week, but uh, in fact, I didn't have the time. So this week, I will try to uh, kick off the revamp. And that's it. Well, Alu has some technical issues on the audio. Just wait for a second.
Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, it's uh, repeating. Okay, sorry, some technical. Wait. Wait. Okay, so this should be no now. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, uh, my uh, Okay, uh, last week, uh, the problem of the discovery from the public gateway uh, should be solved. That uh, we, yes, on, on the IPFS IO. Uh, now we test with a machine with the, the NAT and our content can be uh, discovered in about minutes. So uh, if the production environment without using the uh, NAT, it should not, uh, it should be not a problem. So uh, we will know uh, to investigate the NAT problem later. And last week, uh, I start the uh, storage plugin, the IPFS storage plugin using the Cosmos SDK store, and now still uh, currently in the uh, researching, <clears throat> and discussed some uh, production architecture with Chong about uh, uh, how the IPFS and our Litecoin chain can be cooperate. So uh, in the coming week, uh, I still keep on doing this research. Thing. Okay. Are you done? Hi, I, I think he's, uh, he's done. So this is King. Uh, last week, the, uh, the interview with Business Next was published. Uh, I'll uh, publish the link afterwards uh, in the interview in Taiwan. And then I presented Republic of Lightland in, in the event organized by Business Next and uh, Brock Temple. And we received a pretty good responses. Uh, it's estimated that over 100 attendees downloaded the app out of 120 attendees. I met with the Liu Nance, uh, Huang Yimpeng Le Mong, to introduce Litecoin, and, and, and we will see how it goes. I also co-pitched an event organized by uh, United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. Uh, the event is called World Press Freedom Conference uh, 2020, happening in the uh, Netherlands. Also uh, published a new article regarding, uh, the title was uh, From Civil Sum to Republic. Uh, it, it, it's better to be in, in Chinese, it's uh, which kind of summarize uh, the whole project of Litecoin, what it's about in a, from a, a high perspective. That's it. Anything else? Uh, anyone have, have anything for discussion? Uh, if no, then this is the end of this uh, weekly meeting. Thank you.